Good evening Hackology and welcome to our quick tips for your SDR. In tonight's episode we're going to be configuring SDR Sharp under Windows. You'll need a PC or a laptop, minimum of dual core, I'm running GQRX on an Atom, it's a little sketchy but that's Linux, it's a different operating system, don't worry about it. Windows, you're going to need minimum dual core, maybe 4GB of RAM. Ok, do not plug in the RTL dongle. If you bought an RTL dongle, do not plug it in, do not install any of the software that comes with the dongle. If you have, uninstall the drivers, uninstall the software and unplug the dongle. You can do that in Device Manager by right clicking and choosing uninstall. Prerequisites for this tutorial are .NET 4.6 redistributable. If you're installing this on XP, don't upgrade your bloody operating system, it's about time you change from XP www.airspy.com Download the SDR software package Unzip all the files Run install rtl.bat Now you can plug in your dongle Next run zadig.exe Right click run as admin Click options Choose list all devices In the drop down field Find the item bulk interface 0 Make sure when USB is selected in the right drop down Click replace driver. Any warning messages you get, just click install driver. Open SDR Sharp, select the RTL USB dongle, click start capture, tune to a known frequency like a local radio station. Once you've tuned to a local frequency, make sure you've got wide mode FM selected and then open the options menu or the settings menu and adjust the RF gain until you get a really good signal. You've been watching Hackology, that's been how to set up SDR Sharp. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We shall be back really soon. Have fun hacking as always. 